Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Tier Know the Losses of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and right now we have to address the rich. Harrington's last stop on the people's path was the hardest of all. Harrington's final obstacle is the people he fought his entire life, the rich. His objective is to ensure the support for his ambitious program of expansion and funding for small and medium farmers. He managed to put pressure on some of the governors of the Rust Belt to help him, but now we need the support of the most powerful rural manufacturer businessmen in the country. A reunion was planned in Washington to address an issue where Harrington had to negotiate with his mortal enemies for hours. The fat cat started to talk first. With all due respect, Mr. President, your actions have greatly affected our interests, a man with a cigar exclaimed. Your aggressive rhetoric only alienates our goodwill to negotiate. My associates and I want to make sure that this deal will be beneficial to us. Another bald executive said. Harrington immediately fired back. <clears throat> Gentlemen, this can end in two ways. We associate in this project, improving your prof profits, and we both benefit from it or we do nothing. The farmers suffer and you will lose your chance for good business. I'm open to negotiation, but I also need your compromise. The executives were actually surprised that Harrington was willing to listen to their demands to come to an agreement. Maybe that pesky socialist is not that dumb after all. After hours of negotiation and deliberating the details, the businessmen accepted moderate support for Harrington's project. Well, Mr. President, my colleagues and I decided to support your project. We're confident that this partnership could benefit both parts. However, we also hope that you will respect our interests the same way we respect yours. Have a nice day. Harrington now needs to work on the bills, but after such a long tour through the country and dealing with the bourgeoisie, he decided to take a few days to rest first. A step closer to a fair society. Unsettling uh, revelations. And if you want to reread The Better Angels of Our Nature, please go ahead. The investigation of former President Thurman is well underway already. The Department of Justice has heard testimony from numerous individuals, including Thurman himself, various staffers from both the Thurman and Kennedy administrations, and many of Thurman's business contacts. In addition, the DOJ is hard at work examining large amounts of evidence that has been acquired as part of the investigation already. There are darning charges being brought to light, evidence of illicit payments to individuals Thurman intended to sway. Along with aggressive lines of dialogue between Thurman and the former speaker in the weeks leading up to Kennedy's death have all come out. Investigators are currently looking into the payments in the hopes of pursuing bribery charges, though currently there is not enough evidence to press for the main charge of blackmail. The investigation is anxious to continue with their work, but there are rumblings of discontent within the administration. Pragmatists and those few sympathetic to Thurman argue that investigation risks turning into a witch hunt if allowed to press too hard, while others still fear the potential of political blowback from the right if the investigation produces a particularly harsh ruling. There is talk of quietly wrapping up the investigation to avoid the risk of any more incendiary re revelations coming to light and fracturing government and national unity even further. If the government had wanted bygones to be bygones, and perhaps that ought to have been their position from the beginning, Regardless, perhaps it is not too late to change course. So keep going, we're getting close. We're in too deep. CC's investigations? Nope. All the way with, well, not LBJ, but the other America. Harrington had consolidated the necessary support for his policies and cleared a path for the passing of legislation. And it's time to begin in earnest. Comprehensive reforms to education, health care, and employment. Employment and welfare. Everything must go. The system must be made anew. For every day, the grimy underclass of America is allowed to suffer the lack, or in lack, is an impossible moral hazard. The president has outlined in a working paper he's termed the other America, a rough draft for what he's about to do. Not many have read it, but soon everyone will know about its contents. The man in the White House will make sure of it. Influence the other America will be increased. A decision for further strengthening the influence of the other America will be unlocked. Now, which I've never read, which, which is an actual thing he wrote. Like, he's a professor or something here. I know, like, that. I actually looked him up a little bit. Harrington's kind of an indivi interesting individual that, honestly, with most with most characters here, I really don't know much about. Obviously, everyone's heard of LBJ and uh, Nixon and the Kennedys. Maybe... Robert Kennedy a little bit less than, you know, Jack Kennedy, but, like, still. But American society is united for now, and the NPP is willing to put aside their differences, because I already increased NPP unity, but the Senate votes for veterans' benefits. The news from the Senate floor was largely encouraging. If the floor of speeches were any indication, as Defense Secretary Winter had pointed out, nobody was going to be so gauche as to criticize a bill to treat America's veterans well. The center and the far right of the MPP were broadly in support, mounting a full-throated defense of the bill. The RDs, for that matter, were speaking in broad platitudes about the bill's provisions, hailing the intent of the legislation. But the details were a different question time and time again. Democratic senators, even a few Republicans, had asked about money. Money, 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 always the money. Harrington had been in Washington long enough to understand that when people wanted to criticize you quietly, they would ask about the money, a fitting fig leaf to disguise the lack of concern for America's soldiers and the language of responsibility. The debate wound wound on, and Harrington resisted the urge to call the Senate leadership for an update. Politics was a numbers game, of course, that they'd been careful to package everything in a way that couldn't be opposed on the merits. There'd also been endless whip counts, fine-tuning of individual clauses, hypothetical debates. Harrington's NPP had left nothing to chance, and there was no need to worry at all. Oh, very nice. And also, we're still trying to imp improve this stuff. Now, I don't know much about the other America. They're irrelevant for now. We're I'm really trying to help out the working class and trying to 
lower the influence of the bourgeoisie. They kind of okay with the reforms for now, but <sighs> we'll see. We'll try our best here, you know. We'll try our best, and hopefully we get more political power this way because we're out of PP for now. Not very good. Um, let's see. Tackling the causes, tackling the effects. Ooh, the food stamp program, managing unemployment. Um, ooh, we get more. Ooh, we actually lose political power. Fight abusive practices, which is not bad, but poverty will be slowly begin to improve. I do like that. We have new expenses, costing one percent percent of our current GDP. Some Southern Party members defect to the Democrats. Ooh, healthcare. Oh boy. Oh, we do get more political power, which we will need lowering healthcare costs. Ooh, the federal healthcare regulations from a young age. Assess schools, resources, spotlight the issues. Looks a little worse in southern states. Um, hmm. The Elementary and Secondary Education Act, which was a real act in our timeline. Obviously not done by Harrington, but still. Um, let's go with from a young age first. Maybe. Hmm. This is going to improve a lot of things. Relations will improve, improve. These are all very nice until, like, we get down to the meat and potatoes of the things, and things are going to go very poorly. But tackling the causes. The president has emphasized the need to tackle what he believes are the structural problems of America's ultimate malaise. The burdens keeping close to 50 million Americans below the poverty line, he believes, extend not just to the salary of the wage, but also schoolhouse, clinic, courtroom, and home. For this term, the, oh crap, the uh, president intends to focus on healthcare and education. No longer shall the American have to pay for his poverty with his lifespan and the lives of his children. We will lessen the burden of the poor and bring the underprivileged American household into the light, where it will stand as a testament to the American dream, one nation just equal with true freedom for all. Proposals both left old, new, old and new are floating around the administration. Plans for extending medical care to all Americans. Comprehensive wealth reform. Vague plans to reduce racial bias. This has all been met with considerable opprobrium from both sides of the aisle, but we must push through. The president is a man of his word, and America's waiting for its fulfillment. 69 World Series, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. I'm meeting for the history books. Uh, we're going to cut down the dead as much as we possibly can before we start making it explode, so, yeah. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, yes. Yes, more PP, please. So we just got to keep spending on civilian spending for now. That's until the end of the game, because we're not going to have enough PP. We don't have enough political power here to do stuff here. They're influential now. Influential, 65, 60... And 50! That's not bad! Actually, we've done really okay. Fickleness of the crowd. Maintaining our activist movement is no easy task. Every month, our supporters' enthusiasm will decay based on accumulated fatigue. Okay, so maybe... Um, based on the overall enthusiasm of American society, the more it grows, the more unnoticeable the backlash against our policies will be. Ooh. Ooh, I was thinking about doing the... So, there was one comment asking about... Ooh, fatigue will decrease by 10. I like that. That's interesting. Um... There was one comment saying that, can we get the ports back? Because, you know, San Francisco and parts of L.A. Uh, yes, it is 100%. I'm actually thinking about doing that before the election starts so we can make maintain our majority lead. I think that'd be good. And it can help improve our daily political power gain by this. Very high unity. Actually, we already have it almost maxed out, so. So, how about we do some stuff here first? Because I do want to do help academic base. But then go to the other side as well. Managing unemployment wouldn't be bad. I do want to do this one as well. Uh, I mean, this one. But more cost at the same time. I'm trying to cut down cost for now as much as humanly possible until we just make it explode. Tackling the effects. Uh, let's do from a young age. The American <clears throat> mind has been conditioned to think about the poor as unequal, twisted, and deformed in spirit, and this process begins in the schoolyard. The invisible inequality of education must be tackled if we are to change the larger inequalities of American society. And the president has determined that no expense shall be spared. After all, poverty is a socio-economic condition, not an original sin. And if the fathers are innocent, what are the sons? For reform to take place, we must look at the situation with a clear eye. The schools will be assessed, and a clear picture will be drawn out of the state of American education, or drawn of the state of then we will begin comprehensive reform of the system, starting with primary and secondary education, and the children of America will hopefully look to a brighter future. There's so much I want to do here, but we just... And we will need to help out the fatigue when we get there, so... It's only going to get more difficult, so... And since we're here, uh, we can suppress people, maybe? Yes. Uh, we have Republicans who generally vote with us. So this is a f the far right... Oh, sh uh, MPPY... Oh, that's Yaki. Why do they? Why do they just call it FR? That's L. Hmm. Weird. From young age, though. It's almost 1970, so we finish up the research, which is nice. So all this stuff is coming along. Great, 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 great. Can we actually make any more cities yet? Yes. Yes, technically yes. New York City. Thank you very much. Thank you for existing. So we can build a new. Um, Alaska. No. Okay, cool. So we don't have that many more cities to build. It's unfortunate, but whatever. 
Um, yeah, so I'm just going to kind of hang out here. I don't mind doing the Democrats, because the Democrats don't always help us. They kind of do, but still. The influence of the other Americas is at least moderate. Improve relations? It's not bad. Decrease fatigue by five. How much is it? Influence? I mean, that's so expensive. I don't want to abuse Collins' commands, but maybe I will. We'll see what happens. I have no promises, but spotlighting the issues. As the investigation into the educational landscape of America takes shape, we are uncovering practices and abuses that render the Bureau sleepless at night. There are stories of corruption and rampant child abuse taking place right under our noses in D.C., as well as in Western states, disconcertingly. It appears that some schools in the Civil Rights Act have carried out de facto desegregation in the classrooms, rendering the effects of or efforts of our lawmakers obsolete. Um, if you wonder about the death of Joseph Kennedy, please go right ahead. Uh, no matter how much it pains us, we must stare unflinchingly into the face of these abuses and catalog them. The president has promised that when he is done, he will sweep the system up in reforms and our children will be avenged for the wrongs committed against them. Also, I do want to let you know, uh, since this is our first term, and we're not that far, but like, if we can't complete everything here, then eventually I will use cons commands to make sure we do complete everything, so. Just to let you know. But yeah, I would like to complete everything here, because this is going to take a while to do. Expand rural distribution. So we'll see. Well, that's not bad. Increase, slightly increase public fatigue. Enticement for the states. Alright. Hunger bill, huh? Increase among Senator MPP and MPPL. Decrease among everyone else. Right to water. The right to shelter. The hunger bill. Social Security Act from a young age. Very good. Oh, we can't do this one yet. Okay, so we're not tr currently trying to pass another bill. This focus will cancel the other. Okay. So we're doing this one first, which is fine with me. Totally fine. Spotlighting the issues, of course. Academic base will look and improve, the, improve slightly. Oh, uh oh. Okay, so there we go. Look. The Elementary and Secondary Education Act. That's pretty good. Four out of five Republicans, eight out of 21 Democrats, which is not bad. Of course, the Senate. And even the far right's like, not bad. You want to compromise? Okay, sure, why not? But no, that costs too much PP for now. Um, spotlighting the issues, assessing school resources, we might as well do that one right now. It's a sad truism that the American school system will give you the best education money can buy, your money that is. Huge in inequities in the public school system, particularly in the South, have contributed to existing divides in the American household, robbing underprivileged children of the education and attention they deserve. If we are to make American education equal, we must chart the width of these divides and quantify them, no matter how disturbing the task may be. A nationwide survey of schools will be conducted, using random surveys of teachers and students to gauge confidence in the schooling system and its ability to distribute equal attention across states and districts. A concurrent audit of state education boards will ensure that the results are kept as close to reality as possible. Once we are sure of the results, the real work will begin. I apologize for covering up the sounds, it just... I, we've, I, I, we've done that a lot before, so... Um, non-existent 80, 65 is really good. I do want to do it a little bit more. I like, I really want to help out the working class. The other America is still irrelevant. Um, how much would that cost? Reduce. Oh, promise restrain legislation. Decrease. Ooh, no, 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 no. A decrease by five. That's not bad. Favor the middle class. Tone down rhetoric. Um. Ooh, that is not a good idea either. Help out the other America. Bring up the working class. I do want to do that here out America. Relations is fine. Help America rise. Well, I really want the. They love our forms. I want to bring up the working class. Yeah, let's see what that happens. 50, 50 might jump up into something else. We'll see. We can currently get how much? Almost one a day. Not even one a day. God dang, that sucks. That really sucks. So we'll try to pass the act, and then we'll do the whole Japanese stuff, because it's going to take some time. Because I want to make sure that we get, like I said in the last video, at least 45 Senate MPP Senators. Because we can usually probably find about Repu five Republicans, Democrats, or far-right Senators that vote for our stuff. So, But happy 1970, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. That vision is very good to have. Happy 1970. Thank you. Cool. Keep cutting. 70. That is so good until we blow up the deficit, but whatever. Uh, elementary School and Education Act. After searching through cellars and clouds of our education system, we must usher in our education reforms by announcing... Uh, uh, a cleanup of the darkest corners. This will be done through our first legislative measure concerning education, a sweeping bell that will drastically lower school fees for underprivileged youth, as well as setting new standards in terms of federal grants and resources. When the age for the age with schools are simply preparatory facilities for a life of inequality are over, this act will begin the journey of true rehabilitation for America's public schools and by extension, her ignore children. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven focuses, so about roughly 30 days each. It's not all 30 days, but that's seven months. We should be able to get to... To, on to Tokyo after this so we can really get people to love us. So, because we're going to get both parts back. Alright, help me unlock the MVP. Alright, so 
Alright, so MPP standard, MPP victory is likely, maybe the Great Plains? Great Plains are pretty good, right? Yeah, let's do Great Plains. Great Plains are very nice, this time of year. Alright, Brisbane's proposal. J. Quinn Brisbane is one of the countless idealist activists and radical policy wonks who has found a political home in the Harrington administration, head of a minor department within the Office of Education. He's come a long way from his days of organizing in the Jim Crow South, but he hasn't abandoned his radical instincts. As a policy brief submitted today reveals, in a series of amendments to the Elementary and Secondary Education Act, uh, boosting overall funding by nearly 20% while adding a long set of funded activities, art selectives, black and Hispanic history courses, more funding for the facility improvements, and more are all on the list. It will certainly raise a already substantial price tag of ESEA, but it would certainly please numerous teachers, students, and educational activists across the country. He's right, we need gigantic revolutionary changes. More effective bill. Class relations will improve somewhat between the rich and us, and the middle class will decrease. Support for the bill decreases among the far-right MPP and Democrats, but how, far, how are we going to pay for this? The rich will improve... Uh... We're, go big and go home, right? So we're going to try to go vote for it. We'll see what happens. Uh, still in protest. Cries of street strong and no blackmail rang up and down the interest, uh, streets of the South today, as thousands came out to protest the investigation of Strom Thurmond. It was to be expected, but Southern segregation is not happy with their honorable gentleman, uh, how the way that he's been treated. In the capital, the remnants of Thurmond's clique are whipping up a storm of their own, accusing our administration of unsubstantiated attacks on his character. The investigation continues regardless, but its content is clearly growing among supporters of the accused. They're likely not to think kindly of the administration come election season, though many would argue that the pursuit of justice makes it all worth it. Unsurprising. Uh, we're not going to diminish Republicans here, no. Not this time. Not this time. Maybe later. But, after this one, we're going to take a slight break. Ooh. Ooh, that's not bad. Slightly increased public fatigue. Ooh, we can get that immediately, but we, I, I want to rush for this. Because we all got to make sure we do well on the election. So if you worry about fun the skunk works... Please go right ahead. We're just going to get that one done as soon as we po possibly can as well, so. Good. Cut it down. 71 billion ain't too bad until we blow up the budget or deficit. Well done, gentlemen. And hey, look at that. It's five point, almost six a month. Not bad. Primary school is looking pretty good, too. Is anything going down? That's, as long as we're not decaying, that's probably really good for us. Ex industrial experience. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, I remember this year. It's 1970. But it's too early for... Okay, order 44. That's fine. Oh, we're going to get a better experience industrial base soon. What is this? Re Re we have oh, okay. So, yeah. Someone told me to oh, read over the about this one, actually. The new Civil Rights Act has crossed the Rubicon in terms of its scope, along with total de jure racial, linguistic, religious, and gender equality in all sectors of society. The Act now includes a strict affirmative action scheme. Colleges, businesses, and even government bodies must now meet minimum diversity quotas or face legal penalties. The Attorney General has almost limitless power to enforce this Act, and massive desegregation of both northern and southern societies already underway. Many white Americans see this Act as a bridge too far, an extremist policy that arbitrarily disenfranchises whites to promote minorities. Even some of the black community are reserved about this Act, believing that its authors have put the community in jeopardy by pushing too far too fast. One group has certainly be benefited from this act, the Yaquis. Their leaders decried the act as an, a malicious attack on the nation's culture that is first subjugated, subjugate, subjugated and subjugating white Americans to a culture disorienting, distorting New World Order. Though still a fringe group, the passage of this act is galvanized as support base and reports suggest that many new followers have joined the ranks, hopefully. That's just a temporary backlash before white America relaxes and accepts a truly equal society, hopefully. Yeah, I don't know, man. Stuff like that. I think we're doing this stuff. You can say maybe we're doing stuff like that today, too, but... Hey, we'll see what time has in store for us, right? Oh, Supreme, that's Supreme Court Justice? Let's fill this vacancy. Oh, yeah, it's down to this. All right, not bad, not bad. Spend and cut for now. Until we can't cut anymore, we have to spend too much voting on the ESA. Oh, God. <laughs> guys, guys, I know we're trying to get the skunk works here, and, you know, we want to get the ports back, but this is not going to help us out. Voting the, on the ES or EC. Mary Whitford has never heard of that dress before. Why someone in Bowling Green, Kentucky would want to send a message to a housewife in Peoria was beyond her. Nevertheless, she picked up her letter opener and sliced the envelope open. Out fell a piece of cardstock, printed in garnish, red, white, and blue ink. On the front, held a bald eagle and a timber rattlesnake, was a message in bold black lettering. Call your congressman before it's too late. Tell him why the ESA will waste your tax dollars, wreck American communities, and harm your children. Turn over to read more about President Harrington's tyrannical new proposal. Now, Mary Whitford has never heard of ECA, or EC, but she turned to mail over and looked at some of the conveniently provided factoids. She realized it would be a horrendous for the country. Won't someone think of the children? The E-S-E-A passes. Okay, look at that. So this one's actually not bad for us because it does, you know, that's, is that different? Hold on. So we get more political power, which is great. I love it. I love getting the PP. That makes sense. Sort of. We get more costs, which I totally expected. Fine, whatever. We get more stability research speed, which makes sense. I, I never, is this new or is, we get more taxable population, which I, don't get me wrong, that makes sense, but I don't think I've ever seen that before. 
and academic base gets goes up. We get only new expenses, costing one percent of GDP, whatever. Um, everything increases between us except for the rich. So that's why we wanted to suppress the rich a little bit more. And before we keep going on, um, the MPP is willing to put aside the differences for now. We still can increase that. That's fine. Um, okay. Oh, that's not good. That is so not good. Oh, it's so much more cost. Whatever. It's still fine. Whatever. And then, if you want to read about Ready for Battle, please go right ahead. And at least RD is running middling campaign in the Rockies. Please go right ahead if you want to read about that. We get more political power, which is good because now we're going to continue trying to, trying, 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 trying to suppress, if we can. Oh, yeah, that's down here. Here again, popularity. Um, so, working class is 55. These guys like our reforms, and their influence is still a little too high. Exhaustion is currently seen as small. Okay. Obviously, we probably wanted to get more of the other America, but we're still going to go... Let's suppress the bourgeoisie a little bit more. Help the bourgeoisie out. No. Reduce influence. That's so expensive. 90. Suppress a little bit more. I'm going to keep a good amount of PP in reserve just in case, maybe. Never mind. I lied. We're going to increase... It. So, it goes up by 5. And this will probably go down by 5. So, if the working class is more influential than the bourgeoisie, it's not too bad. The overall enthusiasm needs to be higher, though, but we don't have enough PP for that, so... We'll do the best we can, right? We'll do the best we can. It's all a little bit ahead of time. Artillery! Nothing says America like a big old boom. Um, We will send volunteers to Iran. We will send volunteers whoever we can, really. So, Because that, that helps us out. That really does help us out. So, The goodness of the crowd, huh? Every month, our sports enthusiasm will decay based on accumulated fatigue. So... We don't want to do things... We, we basically want to rush over stuff. But in agreement over England, it seems that English membership in the OFN is not meant to be. Of course, the Germans were not assured of this without a few concessions of their own if England was unable to join the OFN. They would be similarly be denied entry into the Einheits Pact. Naturally, this also meant that the Germans invading the small island and forcing them into the German sphere of influence was also off the table. It seemed that England would be forever doomed as a neutral at a time when, in which neutrality was less and less sustainable. This is not an agreement of immense popularity amongst their friends in the OFN. Canada especially was less than pleased at England's exclusion from the organization. However... This displeasure was easily countered with the prospect of a second sea line. That was what this does save the English from. In addition to that argument against the Canadians, however, was the truth that every man in power knew in their hearts and heart of hearts. The Reich was an infinitely more valuable ally than the Brits could ever be. We'd pitched pitch this tent at stock home. And it's not something that we can pack out if we desire absolute and total victory over Japan. For better or for worse, we have chosen our friendships and cannot allow them to spoil. We can only hope the English will understand. England alone. Choosing a Scottish nominee, go to the liberal option. Right now, who, what is, what is this shift? Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, we are still voting here, huh? All uh, right then, so we're look, wherever there's an MPP, it's currently there. It looks pretty good, honestly, except for the South. Jesus Christ, the South looks so bad. Um, Southwest is maybe. Southwest of Great Plains, so... Great Plains, it is. And this one, I'm going to close out of this one for now. 60. 60. 60! Nice! That's not bad. I'm not sure which one we should really influence the most, but whatever. Uh, political landscape, here we go. Actually, um, so it's... 6 conservatives will go liberal. Balance it out. So actually, I think we'll get some political power from that too, which is very nice. Can we suppress the Democrats? No, we cannot. Not yet. Eventually, we will. Polls are updated? Well, you can't really trust the polls that much, like... In this, in this mod or just real life, you just can't trust them that much. No, people, polls are just, ah, the truth. A more balanced court. If you wonder about this, please go ahead. Look, and there we go. More stability, less conservative democracy, more social democracy, more stability. Very good, the truth. Piles of folders, transcripts, and other documents counted countless, covered countless deaths within the Department of Justice as investigators worked through the night to sift through the contents. The evidence in question had been collected from the offices of former Thurman administration staffers and clerks, the deep files of the FBI, and from anywhere else that may have been connected to or at least known something about the former president. The work was long and hard, but with such a simple and ample budget supply to the investigation, those who burn the men at oil could expect a healthy bonus for the efforts, so they pressed on. Long into the early hours of the morning. It started with a hunch, and a seemingly useless piece of paper of evidence that one of the investigators decided was important. A receipt for a two-night stay at a hotel in downtown D.C., and the immediate aftermath of Robert Kennedy's shooting. Two things stood out about it. Firstly, though the room was documented in Thurman's expenses as being paid for by him, it was booked in the name of one of his aides who resigned shortly after he came to power. Secondly, the hotel was only two blocks from the Speaker's D.C. residence at the time. The aide in question was soon tracked down and interviewed by the investigators. He expressed nervousness and fear of recrimination, though after reassurances that he would be granted protection and anonymity, he relented and broke. He confessed that his former employer had commanded him to meet with the Speaker and present with him some unfortunate information to encourage him to consider his options. When asked if he had any evidence the former aide nodded and expressed hope that his cooperation would lift the cloud of his shame of shame that languished over him from amidst disorganized 
files of old paperwork, he produced a manila envelope, which he had presented to the speaker years prior. The contents of the envelope was sensitive and compromising, and the investigators shared looks of trepidation about one another as they realized the severity of what they had uncovered. It was clear as day. Strom Thurmond had threatened the speaker of the house into refusing the presidency, allowing him into the highest office in the land. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. That's why you, you let go of your morals. And if you want to read about eyes on the ports, please go right ahead, but like, yeah, morals? Well, I lost those a long time ago. Anything goes nowadays, right? Right? The investigation concludes. After months of investigation into former President Thurman's activities, the Attorney General today announced that the Department of Justice had concluded its alt inquiries and was prepared to press charges against Thurman. The evidence against Thurman is certainly dawning. The Attorney General revealed that Thurman has made several statements under oath that were probably provably false by the gathered evidence, and that in the process of the investigation, they had also uncovered transcripts that implicated him in illicit financial dealings with various individuals. As to the main charge, Attorney General confirmed that evidence had been found concerning among the alleged black blackmailing of the Speaker of the House, but due to the sensitivity of the information, he would not elaborate for his time being. The entire nation watches with bated breath. With Thurman's trial scheduled to take place over the coming weeks, it remains to be seen that the bulk of the charges with against him will hold. Demonstrations both for and against the former president have broken out across the nation, and as though the trial will likely have a major impact on the damaged American psyche. All proceedings begin to take place, so all anyone can do now is wait. Soon the moment of truth. And we'll see what happens. Politicians investigating themselves sometimes work, sometimes doesn't, so... We'll see. We'll definitely see. Also, someone said, say, like, oh, well, someone did say that, uh, there's a chance for all of these guys to reunite peacefully. Well, there goes Salbin. I guess Salbin didn't have a chance. That, how often does, does that happen? Where literally every single one of these unifiers is, be, becomes communist. It's a three way communist block between Tukhachevsky, Vasilevsky, and Mami Shuli. Which I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but no, his mom, his last name is Mami. Shuli. Sorry. It just, it is what it is, you know. Um, yeah. You know what? Mm, you know what? Diminished Republicans. We'll see what happens. I don't care. If, if there's not that many Republicans, whatever. Whatever. Um, anything else here? I mean... Southwest, maybe. It seems like everyone's kind of already made their choice, so we'll see what happens. And besides, doing this, every single time we've done this, it's been pretty disastrous for us, so... Um, if you want to read, like I said earlier, if you want to read about Fort Alcatraz, please go ahead. If you want to read about Battleship Diplomacy, please go ahead. It'll be what it'll be, because we got to go on to Tokyo as soon as possible to get this stuff wrapped up quickly, so... I just want to make sure we do well here. Nice, 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 nice. Good. All the stuff will be done soon. Air Doctrine is done. Planes. Let's get some better plane arenos. And Fort Alcatraz. Very good. Wait, what does it say? The center? Rally the center. Oh, okay. The Diplomatic Arena, maybe... Yeah, rally the center. Okay, so we'll consolidate more. The NPP grows a little more unified. Rally the extremists. You want to unified, consolidate more into our wing. More stability. Polls are updated. If you want to about that, please go right ahead. Yeah, that stuff doesn't ma mean anything. I wish I had more things to do. More consequences for what we choose. All right, let's see how we campaign. Or the opposition will campaign as the job Strom Thurmond. James Strom Thurmond, this court finds you not guilty of charges of blackmail, though I should stress that this is only due to lack of evidence. This court does, however, find you guilty of one count of perjury and two counts of bribery within a public office. Therefore, though I do not see fit to consign you to jail, I hereby order you to pay a fine of $200,000 in damages. You may not have been found guilty of the main charges brought to you against you today. But that does not mean your conduct was at all befitting that of a man who held such a prestigious office. A mixed mood has been set in the cross in across the nation in the wake of the trial's conclusion. Progressives are unhappy that Thurman has seemingly escaped justice for his most heinous offenses, though are satisfied that the investigation proved that he was not as spotless as the segregationists would say. Certain conversely, Thurman's clique has cried foul that he was charged at all, though celebrate that the fantasy of these black males squashed once and for all. Thurman himself was been seen leaving the court earlier today, looking haggard and frustrated, but also quite relieved. Perhaps a few more resources. The investigation could have made the black males charge stick. However, some of them the administration are quietly thankful that the sentence was not more severe. Such a development would rather be incendiary in the current political climate, with a mixed success that has seemingly avoided widespread controversy. It's hoped that the unfortunate legacy of Thurman presidency can be finally put to rest. Closure, at least. Well, it looks better than northern states. Southern states aren't so much, which we kind of already figured. But that's, like, what do you mean, like, put more resources into it? I really, I, I went all the way with resources. We went all the way, with, not with LBJ, but, like, bro... Bro, what do you mean, put more resources? I stopped that pig with a lot of resources. I don't know why pig, but whatever. You know what I mean, probably. Just, come on, man. Come on. Oh, God, it's 1970. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. No, it's not going to be good. Oh, that, that deficit. Uh, the deficit's already over. It's over. The deficit is just going to explode. It's just going to kaboom. Oh, oh, we have to do that. I forgot we have to do that stuff, too. Uh, oh, hey, at least we got a solid campaign. We just need one, two, three. Three more things. We should be able to get it done before the oil... Oh, the oil crust is going to hit this month, probably. 
Let's be real, it's going to hit this month. Um, toss up in the southwest still, which I liked. Southwest probably, yeah. Um, which we which we literally just did, but Great Plains maybe. Eh. Uh, upper South maybe. Uh, at this point, it, everyone's already chosen which way they're gonna go, so kind of sucks. Tut MPP or or Rockies maybe. Let's go Rockies. Let's, go, let's do Rockies. Let's get Rocky. You and me. We're gonna we're gonna go Rocky. Let's go spend time in the mountains together. All right. Anyways, um, uh, not left MPP. No 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 no. Uh, we're gonna wait for that stuff too. Uh, please don't explode, Iraq. Please, please. We don't want to deal with the Middle East right now. Please. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm done making these divisions. They cost us too much money. <laughs> Not really, but whatever. Just one more, one more time, one more good time. Oh, six point sixty-six point six five. Oh, that is a little curse to say the least. Um, cool. Battleship diplomacy. Here, I'll see all of you when you about that. Please go ahead. You do get ten more political power. Um, I think I already read this one before. So see, see you all here. All there you go. Oh God, I hope we can get that one done though. Spend, cut, cut. We have to spend, get more political power. We are not going to have enough PP. I don't feel bad, though, if we... Oh, can we actually increase MPP unity? No, we cannot. Okay. Um, come back down here. Popularity. A small. 60. Influence. 91. 60. Lower reforms, lower reforms, lower reforms. They're so four. They're influential. I, I still want to cut down the bourgeoisie. Still want to cut it down. And can we do the other America yet? Help the other America rise? As long as the other, this group gets smaller and smaller, I think we'll be okay. They stand moderate on our forms. It's that idling the opulent sluggishness. So the lower influence will be good. They run a masterful campaign. We'll get for them. Um, reassure the upper class. Influence will be increased. Eh, let's fatigue is not bad. Tell their story. As at least moderate. That's probably good to do. That's probably really good to do. But like, I don't know. I'll probably, I'm probably regret not doing that. Oh, they're displeased. Polls are updated. That's not good. Screw We'll do it one more time here. Um, tone down rhetoric. No, we're not doing that. Help the other America rise. Influence. <sighs> Influence. Uh, working class loves our reforms, and they're here too. It will do. Yeah, help the other America rise. There you go. We'll see. Because we don't want displeased, right? That's not very good for us. Come on. So even if it fires, we'll still get that one done, which is nice. All right, let's see how the Rockies campaign goes. Can we get more PP yet? No, we cannot. Can we suppress? Oh, yes. Democrats, no. Suppression, yes. Suppression, yes. Cool. Hey, good work, everybody. Hopefully that does something for us. Hopefully. So if you want to read about Ana Tokyo, please go right ahead. Uh, memorandum director. Um, if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. We see all. Come on. Can we get at least to like 21? Oh, no, we can't. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. No. I gotta get the ports back before the election happens. Oh, come on. Oh, please don't tell me we have new focuses. Please, please, just let us continue doing this one. Come on, come on. we only have a month left. Let me, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, so cancel that for now. We can get a head start on this stuff. Um, actually, you know, do this one first. Click. Oh, uh, no, don't do no, that. No. So, let's just go and save. You know what? It's always good to save. Sometimes I don't save enough where I have to replay things for like an hour or half an hour off screen. It just takes so much time. So, saving in front of you guys is fine with me. If you want to read about this, please go ahead. Crap. All right, so we got 90 to save up. If you want to read about this, please go ahead. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're not going to have enough time. Oh, I hate this so much. I wanted to get the ports. You know what? You know what? I'm going to go back. And we're going to get this on to Tokyo done before we focus on education. Maybe. Let's see. Maybe. Because we only need 35 days. We have one, two, three months. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, one, forty, one, forty divided by that's four months. We don't have time. So I'll, I'll see you in just a little bit. And here we have it, my friends. It took a while actually to do off screen, but back to July 21st, 1970. If you like to read about this, please go right ahead. But we have peace in our time, which we get a lot more political power. We change a ray of hope with a daring to dream to get more political power, recruitable population, stability, war support, and we get a whole lot more islands. Peace in our time. Look at that. Ah, oh, so good. Which ultimately means, uh, we can invest in Hawaii, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Is there any other islands we can invest into? Probably not, but yeah, that's all right. Um, anything else here? No, it doesn't really look like it, which is okay. We did get the treaty ports back as well, so. And did we have to demilitarize Panama? No. That's Canal Zone. It's its own thing. Huh. Was it always like that? I don't remember. Oh, well. We have a lot of things here. Um, 
So there was a comment saying that make Sobin win in the USSR. Well, as we saw earlier, I, I didn't catch this comment until like I was like off screen. But yeah, Sobin didn't win. It's unfortunate. I wanted him to, but there's not much we can really do about it, right? So uh, let's see. Can can we camp anywhere else? No, not really. We'll probably do the Southwest next. Cool. Guys are doing not, nothing. Okay, cool. Also, like off screen, this time instead of doing some of the other stuff we've done, I've decided that we should just demolish the influence of the bourgeoisie. Uh, the influential, influential, the average 50. So I'm going to continue trying to cut them down because they're not going to like what we're going to do. So I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that things are not going to go very well for them. Oh, let us please, 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 please let us. We haven't gotten the vote done for the ESEA Act yet, but still. Brisbane's proposal, if you wonder about that, please go ahead. How are we going to pay for it? He's right. We need revolution and gigantic change because this will decrease the relations between the rich and the White House and the middle class, but I'm, I'm more worried about the uh, what the rich have to say. So They lack our reforms. Moderate. Still four, but 60, 60, but 50 for that. The machine falters. If you want to about that again, please go right ahead. Cool. All right. Running on fumes. If you want to about that, please go right ahead. Uh, what? We haven't done the, the act yet, so we haven't lost that much money by the same time. Oh, my goodness. Holy crap! But at the same time, I want to bring up the working class. I do want to bring up the other America as well. They love reforms 95, 60, 160, 104. <sighs> Getting more relevance for the working class would be really nice. I want to bring them up more, but there's just never enough pee-pee, man. And after we get there done, so it would be at 55, and then what? Oh, actually, can we send volunteers? That'd be really nice if we actually could. No, probably not. No, we cannot. I love this guy's. Uh, hat, or what do you call us? Zaid bin Sultan Al Nayan. Borman's request. The Reich Ministry for Foreign Affairs sent an interesting request to the State Department. They wish for the President to publicly invite the Fuhrer to DC, which the Germans will openly and graciously accept. Martin Borman and his foreign minister, Walter Havel, will then travel to America for the further bilateral negotiations and their opportunity to shake hands with President Harrington before the cameras. While this appears to be more propaganda maneuver than a genuine attempt to expand the detente, the potential upside of appeasing the crowds cannot be dismissed. A Nazi on American soil is too far. A good will trip. Um, I don't want to lose political power. I don't. It's probably bad if we do that. Hmm. But Harrington is the guy to say, like, hey, talk to me. So, let's let's do it. Let's spend our PP first, maybe. Um, is there anything else we can do around here? No, but you know what? We did get 125 PP from, like, getting the ports back so, and stuff like that. So... Uh, point, point, oh, Jesus Christ, that's so bad. Point four three, that's so bad. Get out of other Americans. You know what, just do it anyways. We, we gotta recoup our PP anyways. Let's see what happens. Oh, people are displeased. That's not good. Respectable rank campaign. It's alright, still August. That's fine, fine, fine. Running on fumes. Uh, everything's bigger in Texas. That's not bad. Effects of the oil crisis. I don't want to do that because we can hurt a PP. If you want to that, please go ahead. Boom! Yay! 49% is pretty nice. God, I hope we can win here. The earth bleeds, if you want about that, please go ahead. The wheels of ages turns once more. Oh my gosh! Oh! Jack boots in the Oval Office. Well, Michael Harrington waited in front of the Oval Office desk with his sweaty hands clasped together. He rubbed them against his trousers and changed his pose, keeping both arms at his side. Standing among the bodyguards, aides and adjuncts scattered throughout the room was a lone photographer. Harrington straightened his back as the door dramatically opened. He could not let his mask, mask slip, or else the seething torrent of anger and disgust swirling within him would come out spelling out. Four men strolled in the room, followed by their sluggish bodyguards. Harrington did not, did not know the scrawny man with the bulging forehead, though he did recognize the tall diplomat in the black suit and tie as Walter Havel. Barreling towards Harrington seemed like a bulldog in a brown uniform was Martin Bowman, accompanied by a bespeckled translator. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. President, Bowman's translator relayed the fierce message. Bowman himself gestured to, to his two lackeys. With me are Havel, Walter Havel, my foreign minister, and Gerhard Klopfer, my secretary. Hello, Mr. Bowman, Harrington said mutedly, shaking the tyrant's hand as though he were little more than a Jehovah's Witness he wanted off his lawn. Should we pose for a photograph? The photographer snapped into action immediately. Bormer stared into the camera with a forced smile while Harrington maintained his neutral expression. Unfortunately, my schedule is very busy, Mr. Bowman. You'll be guided to Glenn Taylor, who has an hour to spare. Thank you. Bowman, Havel, and Klopper looked at each other in silent confusion as they were let out of the Oval Office. Harrington sat at his desk, pretending to write down something. The moment the German thugs were out of the room, he buried his face under his hands and moaned. It's all for the greater good. Wow, who needed political power, right? Oh, my goodness. And people were displeased, which sucks. And we just have non-existent reforms yet again, which is fine so that people aren't losing fatigue just yet. So, we definitely need to increase this up. And lowering this right now is really bad, but eventually it, it's going to work out okay. Polls are updated. Uh, don't remind me about the polls. 
The polls, it doesn't matter. Oh, but, but if you like your bot better and industrial extra, please, please go right ahead. Excellent. Ah, one, oh my god, 1.2, that sucks. If you want to rebuild, uh, uh, not this one, set the prices, please go right ahead. We can't afford to lose any more PP. 0.43 a day is just so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad, man. Oof. Oh boy. I just want to get to the elections, man. Actually, can we improve this? This would definitely help us out. We're halfway through that. Two thirds, three fourths of the way there, actually. I saw the campaign is not bad either. Not bad, not bad. We're all done with that stuff again. Let's get some planes like we did before we faded in and faded out. And, yeah. I mean, it could be better. It could be so much better. But it could be so much worse. Also, we ran out of things to build, so I'm just building a lot of forts in the center here. This way we have fortress center. I don't know. I just decided, you know what, let's put it here. S center NPP is winning. We'll put, just put, like, level 10 forts literally everywhere in the center of America. Why? Because we can make this, like, the Great Wall of Middle America. Yeah, that's not bad. The Great Wall of Middle America. We're copying China. Campaigning. We'll do the Rockies. Towards the victory. Safe NPP. Safe NPP. Far. Oh, Deep South. Maybe. Maybe Deep South, actually. Let's see what we can about them Deep South folk. Alright, we'll see what happens. Oh, I can't wait till elections are over. Elections are so stressful if you have to win, actually. Hey, that's good. That's good to see that. Um, anything here? Ooh, Republicans? No. Uh, even though they vote for us. I mean, there's only five. They can only go from here, right? Right? All right, if you want to about the Federal Energy Office, please go ahead. Yeah, getting Borman into the office, that's good to know. It's not worth it. Spending 100 political power did nothing for us. Capitalist commodities. Uh, Wall Street's... Uh, actually, I haven't read this before, so if you want to about this, please go ahead. But this will be better to get done. Sell, sell, sell. But that's good to know for the future. I... That was 100 PP we lost. I might just give myself 100 PP just because, like, we take a snapshot. Is there anything supposed to come out of this? Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I just want to make sure we, we have enough support for this. And this is why I'm so worried about elections. I want us to do well in the elections so we can... Don't have to worry about get, spending people to get other things. Operation success? Great. Great. Please, let's do this one. Better engineers are nice. Come on. Can Iran fall, just fall apart faster? I want to be able to help them out. Islamic Republic of Iraq. Oh, man. I just want to get involved, man. Federal Energy Office, if you'd like to read about this one, please go right ahead. Synthetic Alternatives. Yes, it's always good to have some sort of alternatives, just in case. Ooh, 19 billion. That's not too bad. That's better than 26 billion. A solid campaign. Good job, boys and girls. Good job. We'll be able to do another one soon. Southwest. Yeah. Toss up. Ooh, that's not good. I wonder how many seats we're going to lose here. There we go. Yes, more PP, please. Yay. Military austerity, uh, we gotta keep spending. We need that political power. 19 million is... Billion, not bad. Other comps include, play as Robco Reborn in Old World Blues. We'll see, we'll see when we get there. So, no guarantees, but yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm not sure we even can, I mean, that's a factory or company, but yeah, we'll see. If you'd like to read about, let me run the campaign. Uh, enforce rationing, please go ahead as well. Oh crap, here we go, here we go. Um, another comment was, how many episodes will this campaign last? That's a very good question. What? What? <laughs> I wanted 45 senators, we were 58. We gained three more senators. Look at that. We have 61. We literally gained one senator. Wait, we gained one? I thought we were, we were 58, aren't we? The far right lost a lot of influence. The... Democrat Party got seven more senators, literally just from the far right. The far right died in that one. They're literally as worthless now as the Republican Party. <sighs> well, I actually was trying to diminish the um, the Democrats a whole bunch, but Jesus Christ. What the heck? Holy crap. I didn't even do anything off screen. Like, no consequence for this one. Like, holy smoky fathers. Oh, baby! Oh, 61! Oh, so good! We gotta go radical reforms as fast as possible now, right? And then we gotta get re-elected. Of course, it does help that we got the ports back. That's why I did it. So we got 61. And you know you screwed up when there's um, there's very few NPP members in the Deep South. Or just the South in general. You got one in Kentucky, West Virginia, South Carolina, Mississippi, Oklahoma. And you got two in Alabama, because Alabama is just, it is what it is. And you have these, South Dakota, Wyoming, Utah, and Arizona, and Texas. Just, oh my gosh. It just, oh my gosh. It's awesome. 
Hey, if you want to be about a disaster averted, please go right ahead. Please, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. The Bournemouth thing is just... Mm, I should just give myself... Uh, I, I never did that one before, because it always costs 100 PP. I want to see what would have happened. It's, and as we've discovered, it's not really worth it. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll consider giving myself PP. Maybe we'll see what happens if we really need it. But, Jesus... That was really good. We won't, we're definitely going to be losing Senate seats in the next one. 49%. My goodness, look at that. Primary schooling is not enough. Come on, poverty, get better. Of course, going to 15 to 25%, going to down it this much, it's not a massive difference. You get more stability, it's a little more war support, recruitable population, output, construction speed, monthly population goes down. If you want to about this, please go ahead. Um, you get 10% more taxable population factor, which is nice, and then you get 20% more income factor rate as well, but... Italy and her oil will be safe. Great. Oh, that's true, because they are in the OFN, so. El Duce's disaster. A company man. We grow a little more unified. Oh, we have to be pro-interventionist. Ooh! The Naples Conference. We do get more political power that way. Subsidize Italians. I've never gone down this way, actually. Send further support to these guys. We lose political power. Peace in our time. Strangle the Saudis. Center says starting a fire. This is interesting. But at this point, I want to make sure we go down here. We're going radical now. If you want to read this again, please go down. We have, we have, we we have it. the numbers, like bro, bro. We had the numbers before, but um, if you want to read that, please go ahead. Back to normal-ish. Yay! Diplomatic arena. I can close out that one. The political landscape. The MPP is willing to put aside its differences for now. There are sixty-seven. So we did lose some MPPs at thirty-three. So they've third. They've two. We have two thirds, but. And actually, can we increase... Oh, we can increase uh, MPP Unity, which is... Eh, doesn't matter. Um, let's open up both of these. So, now we have 58. Still 58. I mean, look at that. Uh, wait, our party's far-right senator. Wait, our parties? They have six. What do you mean, our parties? That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, we still have 58. Uh, that's 10, 68, 69. Nice. But, like, bro. Bro. 39 is not great. Like our reforms. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Let's do this one, too. Managing generational poverty. Uh, as the president has emphasized in previous addresses, education is the key to determining the fact in the poverty cycle. If we can break this cycle here, we can move poor Americans to better jobs, better homes, better futures. Generational poverty, however, might include problems of street violence, crime, crime involvement, and other social malaises that will make its victims difficult to handle. If you want to read this again, please go ahead. But just because something is different doesn't mean it's not worthwhile. The administration will expand our curriculums to those suffering from poverty and violence, and will pressure our education bureau to make its changes to the curriculum to accommodate them. American children in the inner city do not deserve the indignity they grew up with, and we can begin the corrective processes starting right now. And improve, improve, which is fine. Academic base will begin to slowly improve, which is nice, 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 nice. And so now it's 38, which has gone down, which is not good. 63 is not good. We want to increase the influence of probably... Honestly, it doesn't really matter. The bourgeoisie is not going to like us regardless. I'm thinking maybe do the other America. Because influential, influential is very good. But at the same time, this is still relatively high. And we don't want to demolish that too hard. So, oh, do we get something else here to do? Um, oh. Oh, we have 12 billion, huh? Look at that. Th Wait, how do we get 31 billion? Because of the educational act, probably? Huh. Um, rally the center, undo the bourgeoisie, do, 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 do. no, nothing we really care about. Protect American interests. Nah. Oh, we'll talk, open talks with them. Uh, systematic inequalities, affirmative action will be introduced. Highly polarizing gesture. That sounds like something we want to wait to do later. Wilkins report, introduce affirmative act. What do you mean, affirmative, what do you mean, don't we already have affirmative action here? We already have affirmative action, don't we? Yeah, we actually lose political power because of that. But I don't do tackling the effects. How poor is a poor man, poor man poor? How is a poor man poor? Does poverty extend only to the bank account? Any fool can see that this is not the case. A job is not just a means of providing for the family the ability of food and income. Socioeconomic access and respect it provides is a necessity for a dignified existence. And to be poor in the land of free is to live a life that is subtly slavery from cradle to grave. I apologize for doing this, uh, but it, ha it has to be done. 
The president tends to remedy the situation. The food stamp program has been touted as a remedy to ailing material poverty, but Harrington believes it is simply the first step on a road to true equality. Magnificent blueprints are being drawn up for expanded welfare schemes and far-reaching workers' rights laws, saying to find the rights of all Americans in or out of the workplace to be protected and secure in his living conditions. When all is finished, an American worker will be truly endowed with the dignity and respect he deserves. I apologize for letting time go on while doing this, but just... It doesn't really matter too much anymore, like, for technology. For the most part. Not completely, but for the most part. Nice. Yeah, not bad. Cool. And we did all that stuff, which is great. Um, yeah. Because I won't come down here next. That'd be good. So, where are we at? Because they're not going to like what we're going to do here. 60, so, da, da, da. Uh, how are they displeased? Like, bro. Bro, come on, man. Average. Having the extreme wealth balanced by societal justice for all. They like our reforms. Um, how about we boost up the other America? Help the other America. Cool. Come back over here because he can. Thank you. And tackling the effects. Managing unemployment. What good is an economy without workers? To secure positive, fair, and free working conditions for the people of America, we must first secure them a job. And give every American a good, stable, and most of all fair job. Then we can give America a strong and truly equal economy. We gotta keep spending, boy. Spend, 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 spend. Um, someone says, uh, or asks, or says, we need a socialism. A type of authoritarian socialism here. We'll see. Yeah, he's a social democrat in this mod, but... He has more of a democratic socialist in his real life, so... I don't know, after... Or when, someday, when Toolbox Theory comes out, then maybe he'll be more better represented, but... It's... It is what it is. I mean, Bear did probably make some cuts somewhere to fit him into what this America is, so... Someone says, can we get the ports back? Yep, we already got the ports back, and Hawaii and our islands, some islands. Uh, someone says we should do the National Republic of Ukraine, or just Ukrainian National Republic in the Thousand Week Reich. Hopefully, eventually, that'd be good, so... Uh, they're moderate, staying idle. Oh, I guess we cut down... Oh, I guess... Uh, you can always try to increase this. At, instead of doing influence stuff, we could probably just increase this. Hmm, influential 62, not bad. Um, how is... It's average. No, it's small fatigue. Small, small, small fatigue. It's fine, whatever. Uh, establish a job core, yeah. The rich will decrease... Improved relations will be okay. New expenses. I want to get the poverty better, though. Every American deserves a solid opportunity to learn important skills to join the workforce, especially our young people. President Harrington plans to create a job corps to teach Americans from the ages of 12 or 16 to 24. The valid good work. They'll spend about half their time working in national parks to help maintain and improve said parks, and spend the other half improving both their academic education and their job-specific vocational training. In this, we can make sure a new generation of Americans get the same, if not better, opportunities than their parents. Yeah, we really don't need this much... Spending on the construction, but eh, that's kind of where it's at right now, so. Cool, cool, cool. Ten is still there. Alright, it's going to cost a little bit more by this point. We're going to blow up this deficit so hard that national debt's going to be almost like Glenn's national deficit. Tackle abusive practices. The rich don't like this. And I don't want to do that one either because it hurts our PP. Um, the Food Stamps Act comes with a price. Issue of higher education looks all worth in southern states. Increased public fatigue. Ooh. Affirmative action. Establish Medicare. This one, one of its main friends. Um. Hmm. It's not bad. The war to solve property. Poverty. You know what? I think I'm going to go do this side first. Because a lot of this stuff hurts us. So, the food stamp program. American presidents of the past have continuously attempted to deal with the issue of starvation within our nation. But the facts remain. Millions of Americans endure extreme working conditions and order support like themselves and their families. And yet statistics show that some do not get to eat before going to sleep for the next work day. This include American fathers, mothers, workers, children, and even veterans of the Second World War. This is unacceptable and it ought to be our priority to pass legislation to make sure each gets the chance to feed themselves, even if they cannot afford it by normal means. This means drafting the program and then moving on to large up obstacles, such as raising eligibility to enter the program and focusing on how these great Americans can ensure they are fed. If you're worried about this, please go ahead. Something to be celebrated. 35, that's really bad. Uh, moderate, that's fine. We're going to lower this more. I think I want to just keep on up with these guys, though. Tone down rhetoric? No. Influence? If we lower this even more, it'll be probably okay. 90. Should we raise them or lower them? Because this, but they're going to get lower and lower for uh, how they like us. Hmm. I'm going to raise the other America. Let's keep raising them up too. Because that'll uh, impact how 
Well, they like us. Later on, Civil War, if you want about this, please go ahead. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, we're going to wait first. Give us a couple days, and then we'll do that one, because we'll help them out. We'll send them a lot of stuff. I tried to cut down the debt before things exploded, but it is what it is. Yeah, if you want to build up, let's go ahead. Boom. Thank, thank you. El Duce's disaster would be nice, but that's point, whatever. Uh, Iranian Civil War, Iranian Aid Bill. Yeah, let's do that one. If you want to build up, please go ahead. Thank you. Um, This is for the chimneys one. We can't say anything yet. All right. 32 billion. Jumped up to 37 billion. If you want to read about the Iranian aid bill, please go ahead as well. So we can help them liberals. Mm. There we go. Nice. Thank you. Don't want to forget about this too. Uh, 70, 72, 70, 70, 71. There you go. Yes. There you go. Yes. Because we'll send over some choppers over here too. And then if you want to read about American aid and balance, please go ahead so we get some more PP, which would be good. Um, the elliptical power goes down, which I do not like. Our army professionalism slowly begins to improve, though, which I do like. American loans. So, okay, CIA advisors. Let's at least get this one, because I want the political power. So. And then we're going to go back and do some food stamp stuff, or just, you know, food stuff in general. If you're on an aid bill, if you want to read about this, please go ahead. Hey, more PP, yay! Super excited for your PP? Hmm. Don't ask me. Help the bourgeoisie out. I mean, we can improve their relations. They, they dislike our campaign. 34 is really bad. Relevant. Oh, boy. Um, and dear. Yeah, maybe it's just better to just increase relations because the influence is always going to be the same. Maybe so. Maybe it's just best to actually just increase relations. We'll see what happens. If I have to use cons command, so be it whatever. So, oh, I'd love to send more volunteers, but let's see. Hey, look at that. Nice. Okay, so now we have that. I'm actually going to send volunteers. Hopefully it's not bugged, so we can actually can. We can send two, so. Because we do get some PP, I believe, if we actually send some guys over. Um, I want to send armor, but planes are just where it's at. Helicopters, I mean, you know. More attack, please. There you go. We can send 160. Not bad. Fighters, come on over here. And do so have cast over here somewhere. New. No. Where is the cast? Usually it's around the, some of the islands around here. Iran. Ah, there you. That's fine, whatever. Lower you to 60. Begin your engagements, engagements, you know, 51%. Jesus Christ, that's so good. So after this, we're going to do, uh, we'll do the food stamp program. Alright, not bad. We have Veteran Service Act, of course, hopefully. Not bad, monthly cost is quite a bit, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Americans Inbound, food stamp program. Because we, we don't have only so much time here. And I'm not, I'm not willing to lose any more political power, so. Uh, are we sure the working class? Yeah, we could. They dislike our reforms. They're displeased. That seems a bit low. I'll be honest. Like, yeah, they got a lot of influence, but these people are... The middle class and the working class and the other America should have should make up for it for it by quite a bit. But that's just me, maybe. I don't know. By the time you get to this point in the campaign, things are looking a little crazy. Can you guys actually win here? Oh, that's a lot of lag. No. Um, can you guys come over here, maybe? Did we win? Um, look at that. You know it's weird when Egypt is in the OFN. As well as Brittany. Too bad England joined them there, over there, though. Um, okay. Uh, I'm not really sure what else to say about that, so... Okay. Ah. Well, Iran was one faster than these guys. This is very weird. Oh, so they like our reforms. They love our reforms. Yeah, I'm going to have to use consequence here, probably. 
Oh, uh, it's not great. So after this one, we're probably going to go in and do... Decrease increasing... Discuss increasing eligibility. Now the framework for piecing together the food stamp program is established, we must tackle another obstacle in our path. Dozens of seats in Congress, whether it be those Democrats amongst the far... Uh, not the far right. The RD party to the far right branch of the MPP will be far too reluctant to allow a piece of legislation powerful enough to extend to all hungry Americans. Thus, we must be able to manage between solving the crisis and making the program digestible by those begrudging members of Congress. No matter what, it would be a dishonest to claim that we are the champions of freedom and inequality, with the government not providing to those afflicted with a dark shadow of starvation. Even if we must fight it out in the Capitol, it is our responsibility as Americans to ensure that far more of the hungry citizens are eligible for the food stamps program, one way or another. Oh, so there we go, we got uh, Food Stamps Act, look at that. 3 out of 5, 10, 68, so, whatever. Sounds good to me. Dislike, like, love, love. Just please. Fickleness of the crowd. This is definitely a bug. Look at that. What the heck? So once they fall apart again, like, we weren't supposed to win that fast, I guess. Like, I, I don't know how that happened, but, like, Jesus. That's really, actually really nice. So we reduce their influence, that means they can't do as much, right? There we go. Let's send you boys back home. Yep, that's fine. Oh, you guys are... Oh, yeah, that's really nice, actually. Oh, we can only send 40? Oh, that sucks, man. Yeah, I'm going to keep decreasing their influence. Yeah, we really weren't supposed to win that fast. So that should be helpful to help lower that, because they're, they're not going to like us, because we're going to be spending some big money, man. We're going to be spending some big honkers. With Bill comes the prize. President Harrington took a long, deep breath of uh, the piece of paper in front of him. A detailed analysis of a hunger within American society, not the hundreds nor thousands, but the millions of American citizens afflicted with starvation every year. The demographic effects affected. The institutional obstacles, everything. Filled with disgust, Harrington picked up the phone on his desk and pressed a number. Please get, me, get Marine and Orville in my office immediately. The two secretaries walked in just a few minutes later, seeing the president with a heavy stack of papers sitting in front of him. Good morning, Mr. President, said Maureen Newberger. Good morning as well, Mr. President. May we be of some assistance? An inquisitive Orville Freeman echoed behind her. Good morning to both of you. Please take a seat. We have much to discuss regarding this piece of legislation. The next hour and a half consisted of arguments filled with yells that could be heard throughout the West Wing. Newberger, look at the statistics. Hunger is up in America by 13% since Akagi Accords. And that's not even considering black citizens. This program has to be eligible for everyone. Whether it's the workers, mothers, veterans, all of them are starving out there. Orville Bark. I understand, Orville, but our hands are tied for the most part. Our economy has been thrown for a loop for the longest time, and part of getting these hungry people food will have to be maintaining a stable economy unless we seek to rid all of our food. All of them ought to be taken care of, but I'm not sure if we can afford to include everyone in the program. The destitute, of course, but it's tough beyond that. President Harrington, I'm sure you understand. Harrington took, 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 took a deep look at both of his secretaries. He wanted the food stamp program to reach all Americans, but Marine was not completely wrong, sadly. You gotta work with us here. Support among... It doesn't matter. Support will... Oh, look at that. Decrease amongst Senator MPP. Mr. and Madam Secretaries, maybe find a compromise? Calm down, we only have so much. Slightly increase... Oh. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Well. Horrible, calm down, we only have so much. Slightly increase public fatigue. Like, this feels like it's... Uh, I don't know, just... I wish... Hmm. Paying their fair share. We only have so much. Well, the working class will like this. Middle class won't. The rich won't like it, which is whatever. Other America. Working class America. Republicans and Democrats, which we don't, we don't care. I don't want to decrease support with these guys, though. So. Targeting the hotspots of hunger. Although a program has been pieced together, there is still a great hurdle to get past in legislation. Focusing on how and where the food stamp program will take effect in order to guarantee that Americans can not only obtain their food stamps, but be able to use them too. Supermarkets have hit a golden age in suburban American culture, and it's time for the government to capitalize on their success and implement the program heavily in supermarkets, allowing Americans as a whole to succeed without starvation. Though opposition reigns in Washington, with a large number of Democrats in the RDs and their fellow writers in the MPP find out, finding our plans to reach out to the market as being too radical. It's what our administration must do to ensure Americans can stay happy and healthy. 
followed up with establish government food banks. America is a nation of almost 200 million people, and America is hungry. Almost one in five Americans live in hunger. If a government's duty is to protect its citizens, then something must be done. The way President Harrington sees it, the government owes its people a few basic things, and the most are sure most sure way to give the citizens what they are owed right now is to establish a series of federally run food banks, making sure that they, even the hungriest of Americans knows that they can always find food safely and securely as a key to the President uh, Harrington presidency. Yeah, that's getting worse and worse. That's not good. This is going down as well, but this is, eh, this is pretty good. 62, 60. Yeah, the rich don't like us, but, you know, when does the rich like us? Uh, Democrats? Yeah. Democrats are too powerful right now. Suppress them. <laughs> I'm speaking like an RFK that uh was just found out, sort of. Or hasn't been found out yet from COINTELPRO. But anyways. Alright, boys. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, he can't win right there, huh? Can he just go right there, maybe? Can he go right here, maybe? Can you just find him and beat him up? That'd be kind of nice. Good, good, good. And then attack him here. There you go. Cut him off if you can. Oh, both of these. Get, get right here. Get right here. There you go. The last place is to conquer, or hold on to. There we go, nice. Ooh, oh, that group is gone. That's nice. That's very good, actually, because of that. Even though we just lost a battle, hopefully we can get some more of this stuff, too, going. Nice. And these transports, they're actually already 20 combat, which is not bad. That's pretty good. Oh, they're suffering from attrition, which is nice. Um, intelligence analysis is not bad. You might as well do that. That's fine with us. Uh, Republicans, and eh, we can't do that one yet. Yeah, okay. So you guys are not attacking. Interesting. Can you guys actually help attack here and win? Yes. We can them as much as we possibly can. Let these guys leave. And we'll jump right on into them. There you go. Nice. Nice. Hold out, babies. Hold out. The hungry needs options. How the heck are, have the leaders of the U.S. let it go get so darn hot up here? Harrington thought, looking out the windows of the Oval Office. Finally, Murray Newberger and Orville Freeman came through his door with his usual greetings, but Harrington felt the cynicality coming down on him as he knew how meetings with the two opposing secretaries typically went. That being said, work has to be done, and that large stack of papers detailing the effects and legislation of the food stamp program bill was not going to pass itself. Three politicians went to work, diligently going through the process of examining the bill. With each line came another comment from one or the other, and with each paragraph coming down another argument. Until finally, the elephant in the room came crashing down on the Deaths between them, the targeting focus of the stu food stamp program. President Harrington, with all due respect, we need this bill to go above and beyond what the U.S. history has done for the country in the past. Supermarkets are exploding around the country, and it's the common logic that offering food stamps to be used in such huge markets will guarantee that the poor and hungry can get something to eat, and they need this, Mr. President. Besides, we ran a campaign of guaranteeing these people food. We'll be the laughingstock of the MPP if we don't commit to this. Secretary Freeman hammered out. And what about the markets, Orville? You really think they'll feel righteous in handing out their profits to the needy, Mr. President? Ah, sure, you I want these people to be fed as much as any, but forcing the free market to go too far may result in them firing back and withdrawing any support sort of support for a re-election or even the MPP as a whole. We must act cautiously, sir, and committing everything to this will not help. Will not be helping that matter. Harrington dwelled on this argument as the words came flying towards him like daggers, but no support comes change, sadly. Whoever says supermarkets had to will only prove the rest of them right if we go back now. I need political power. Jesus Christ, this is bad. They hate our reforms, which makes sense. Oh, uh, they don't like it too. Middle class, not good. 40, 29. Uh, it would probably help out the middle class maybe a little bit more, actually. Reassure the working class, which is already pretty high. That's why we gotta win abroad. Uh, we're not gonna be able to win here. We just keep it up here. Uh, we gotta move around here. Let's shore up all these lines. There you go. Cool. Nice. Cool. Let's go up. They're really not going to be able to cover their tracks once we start moving around through here fast enough. Oh, you hold, actually. Go right there. If you can move fast enough, it's not bad. Oh, hey, nice. There you go. That's what we like to see here. Can you actually take these guys out like that? That'd be actually really cool if you could. But make sure we got enough uh, choppers around there so we don't get encircled ourselves. 70 advanced transport, yes. Boeings, oh, Boeing. Let's 
Oh! Hello! Wow! That's actually really cool. Um, if that's the case, end up right there, maybe. We'll see what happens. Let's just end up right there for now. Oh, someone got encircled. That sucks. Go right there. And, I don't know, they're not encircled. Go up here. And go right there. Cool. Nice job, guys. Nice job. We've done really, really... Well, this has been an extremely easy Iran. Oh, Kurdistan finally died. Holy crap. That took, that took way too long for Iraq. Uh, Just go literally up and you'll have them. So... We won! Yay! I do want to help out the working class a little bit, a little bit more, maybe. So, convince them, maybe? 62? Hopefully it goes up a little higher than that. And then, establish rural distribution. True to its name, the heartland of the U.S. is really the nation's beating heart. Key to the American identity. All the countries, Minnesotas and Iowas, are America, just as much as New York and L.A. However, for all that they do for America, rural communities, by definition, are hard to reach. That said, they deserve no less government support. Especially when it comes to something that's so basic as food. We must focus on making sure all Americans are fed, even those far away from cities. Yeah, makes sense, man. Makes sense. Don't look at the, the, the debt, though. Don't look at the debt. It doesn't exist. Now, this is... I guess this hurts, like, um, this. It hurts our ability to get reelected, but... Eh. <laughs> U.S. Congress votes on Harrington Food Program tonight. The U.S. Congress has begun to work on reviewing and voting for President Michael Harrington's self-created food stamp program. President Harrington's food stamp program is ambitious, if anything else. It seeks to introduce a new program to aid the poor and hungry throughout the nation by allowing such citizens to obtain federally given food stamps, which are to act as currency in the form of obtaining food. The President has reported that it took a long, long time to tweak the details and include everything that he and his administration desired to have in it. Harrington has claimed that this program is the foundation of a new era for American citizens, one in which mothers, fathers, veterans, and children will never have to fear with the looming question of, will I go hungry tonight again? Having said that, the Harrington administration has given its full backing behind the president. President Harrington has spent countless hours with us examining the bill. It covers everything he wanted to and more. It's genius, to say the least. Orville Freeman, the Secretary of Agriculture, commented, We in the Harrington administration offer our full support for the president and his desire to pass the bill. We were selected by the president himself to be the finest minds to plan out the success of the poor and the average citizen alike, commented Maureen Newberger, treasurer. Likewise, the bill does not go without a number of critics in the public sphere as well as numerous congressmen in the RD party and even the far-right branches of the NPP have voiced their concerns and even fears with allowing such meddling in the free market. Backing them up, several large supermarket chains have protested the bill, citing as a tyrannical restriction on our successes. Only tell how Harrington's bill will fare on the floor of Congress. The bill passes, and poverty begins to rapidly improve, which is amazing. Oh, so the White House, uh, the, uh, the relations between the White House and the rich is going to be bad. Oh, that's really bad. Increased public critique. Oh, it's going to be so bad. But we'll also ensure urban food supply. Uh, our popularity in the urban states will increase. It will be hard to understate how much of America lives in our cities. What is a miracle about San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge, New York's Broadway, Cleveland's Charm? By ensuring that more urban food banks have enough food to handle the demand a larger, larger population brings, we can make sure that the food bank program remains effective at stamping out hunger across America. But if you enjoyed this episode, because we've been pretty gosh darn successful so far, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as we'll try not to cause too much of a ruckus. Trying to make America a better, better place. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.